Hi, Lauren. How's it going? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. So I have a question for you. Yes. How do I get an offer accepted in a seller's market? That's a great question. So in this type of market, it's very difficult. I often see a lot of my clients, and aside from my own um, expertise, but other agents as well, we're having to put in offers that are, you know, six to ten sometimes on different homes, and sometimes there's a lot of buyer, buyer burnout, aside from us as agent burnout too, which can be a real thing. So over the time, I've really kind of crafted and coached a lot of my clients in terms of a few things that I like to advise them in terms of writing up a very aggressive offer in this high seller market. For example, one thing I like to advise them is having the terms. So whether we can shorten any contingency dates, that's really important. We want to be able to sh make sure that we're aggressive and we're also very serious in moving the process along in terms if we're in an escrow with a home. Another thing I would offer is a rent back to the seller, so a free one to be exact. So what I would say is seller to have free rent back up to 15 days, 20 days, whatever that really appeases to the seller in terms of the process of them moving. Sometimes they need more time aside from the 30 days. And then the last thing I like to kind of keep in my back pocket that I sometimes advise the seller, I'm sorry, the buyer, if they're actually very aggressive and really want the home, is an escalation clause in the offer. So that would look something towards buyer to um, give $3,000 over the highest uh, offer that they have received. Mm -hmm. So anything in terms of getting up to, you know, and then you can also cap off the escalation clause too, not to exceed a certain amount so that they're not throwing out so much money that really blows their budget. So just kind of getting very crafty in mm -hmm. that regards to make sure that, uh, and advising them that uh, you can absolutely be able to craft an offer that's very, very in tune, but also very serious to appease the seller. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of ways that you can be creative in this space and try to get your offer accepted. Um, so you really just gotta you gotta work with Lauren to help figure out <laughs> what you need to do to get your offer accepted. In, yes. You know, a buyer's market. So. Yeah, it's it's tough. It's definitely tough. But as long as you kind of have some tricks and trades to how to help your buyer, it's absolutely not impossible. Mm -hmm. I've definitely applied a lot of these tricks that I've kind of just thrown out here. And it really does work, and the buyers end up extremely happy, and they end up loving the home, of course. Well, I love that. Those are really good tips. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. That was Lauren Mundell.